much. Let us be glad in it. Welcome to TLC Love Center Church. I am your man, Pastor Ed, the lead pastor of the Love Center Bible Fellowship Church, located in Round Rock, Texas, just in about a few months. Amen. How are you this morning? Thank you for logging on. We appreciate you logging on today. This is the day the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad therein. You know I'm going to ask you to do us a huge favor. Share the broadcast with a friend. Invite someone into the broadcast studio on this Friday. You know, in a few weeks, we're going to be no longer broadcasting from our in-house studio on Sundays. We're going to be live and in color every Sunday morning in Round Rock, Texas. We'll give you the address and the date of the uh, open house and the date of the first service just as soon as we can get things moving along as far as construction wise we're talking about it every day myself and Jamil it's going to be great and we want you to be a part of it but until then join us right here on this broadcast and um, we are going to bless you every day with a real radical revolutionary word. Amen. If you're watching us for the very first time, let us know that this is your first time watching Morning Matter by going to tlcaustin50 at gmail.com. Not only if you're watching for the very first time, but if you are celebrating a anniversary or birthday, happy birthday, happy anniversary. And um, yes, yeah, send us an email to tlcaustin50 at gmail.com. Good morning, Gwen. Good to see you this morning. Amen. Why you look so short this morning, Gwen? Amen. I don't know. Good morning, Gwen. Amen. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor. Good to see you, Minister Gwen. Good morning, <laughs> Minister Crystal. Good to see Good you this morning. morning. Amen. Good to see you, ladies. Frida Renee is on assignment at her church. And hey, we understand that because she has a church. Amen. Um, so we're grateful for her contribution. And whenever she can return to help us we would appreciate it amen so uh morning later do y'all have a word this morning a scripture to read this morning y'all make the way without reading the scriptures good to see everybody on the broadcast this morning Kenny Stills is logging on Tanaya is logged on Kenny Sims is logged on Kenny up early this morning good to see you Dr. Dr. Cheryl White everybody's logging on look at that look at the bottom and um listen we're in process of receiving 60k so we can do our remodel debt free jamil is excited about it every day he's over there mm -hmm. we're going to bring you some some before and after shots we're going to go down and we're going to commit a demolition here in a few days we're going to throw some hammers and knock some walls down give you some footage of it and so we're excited about that but if you would like to and every member of the love center we they say expect you to, but we hope you would join us in this $60,000 Round Rock Project construction budget. It's going to cost us about $60,000. We already have the resources. That's why we can move forward with the project. But we want to do this project debt free. We want to remodel this place debt free. And Jamil committed to be that we can get it done. Amen. And so thank you for your contribution. If this ministry has been a blessing to you in any way we would love for you to participate with us you can go to our push pay app and you can use the round rock project tab and you can show any amount somebody may have fifty five thousand dollars to give we've already received five thousand dollars from one of our members the pastor amen so yeah we've already received that <laughs> hey listen the member the pastor got the got the at least you know, start the pendle. You know, you got to start a fire, and it takes a little. So, listen, I'm starting a fire, and so I'm expecting for other people to follow suit. Everybody may not have five thousand dollars. You may have a thousand. You may have two thousand, three thousand, whatever you have, guys. We're gonna receive that sixty thousand dollars, and we're gonna do this project debt free. Somebody say debt free, amen. Debt yeah, free. And, uh, the more I talk to Jamil, the more he talk about, you know, making sure everything is looking the same. And we're going to also ask for some sweat equity. Amen. We're going to thank you, Brother Loveless. What do I mean by sweat equity? Listen, we save money when we get in there to do work. Amen. So Crystal, pop them nails off. Amen. Pull that hat down. 
We're gonna have some sweat equity. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna help with demolition. We're gonna paint the bill. We're gonna save some money. Jamil says, Pastor, if we can get members and men into this building, we can save so much money. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to save money. We're going to hire ourselves. Amen. And here's what our pay is going to be. Hot dogs and our pay is going to be chicken boxes and, and, and Subway sandwiches. Sandwiches. Amen. So if you are a contractor, if you know how to um, sweep, if you know how to do anything, you know, we're going to need you to help us with this project. Once again, to all of our friends and partners, thank y'all so much for your faithfulness and sewing to help us. In Washington, me and you are going to take some trips down to Austin, over to Austin, and we're going to help with the project. But um, I'm grateful to God. He has been faithful to us. And um, now we finally got us a place to worship for at least the next four years. Amen. And um, I believe we're outgrowing. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. We're Amen. outgrowing. And now we just have to go to multiple services if that's the case. Or um, half of y'all have to come on one Sunday. The other half have to come on the other Sunday. Or whatever the case may be. But we got to build a new. We got to build it. So the Love Center Bible Fellowship Church is now bringing the love to Round Rock, Texas. And so we're excited about this in Jesus' name. Good to see everybody. Mom Jones, good morning. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, we give God all the praise for it, amen. And we thank him for everything because he's good. He's a good God. And um, I don't know what your situation may be, but if you call unto him, as the scripture says, he will answer, he will show us great mighty things, which we know is not. Somebody say praise the Lord. He's good. And he's not good some of the times. God is good all the time. Somebody shout, God is good all the time. Listen, we say a lot of stuff, Crystal. We say a lot of stuff. We, we, we repeat a lot of things that we hear. But um, God is good all the time. Even though circumstances may not be good, even though situations may not be good, but God is good all the time. We have to believe that, amen. We have to believe that. We have to embrace that. And we have to continue to um, act like that is so. We're going through some serious family matters right now with health challenges and people in our family. And we got a lot going on, Vicky and I. I mean, just every day we're overwhelmed with work. Not overwhelmed, but we have so much to do and to continue with. And um, we have to learn how to cast those cares on the Lord. Me personally, because listen, anytime I feel like a certain way or anytime I get a report from my doctor, the enemy try to bring anxiety on me. And so, you know what? I just have to learn how to cast that stuff on the Lord and not allow it to affect what I believe. I believe that God is who he says he is. I believe that by faith, anything that he promised us, he can bring it to pass. And so we rejoice in that. Amen. We rejoice in the confidence that we have in him. Who have a scripture to read? Uh, I can read it. Um, Thank you, ma'am. Psalms, Psalms 103, verse 1. Oh, yes. Bless the Lord, yes, all Lord. His soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeem, redeems thy life from destruction, who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Love that scripture. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you on this morning. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing in our lives and what you're doing with us collectively. We give you all the praise because this is the day that you've made, Father, and we choose to rejoice and be glad therein. Father, we thank you this morning for the family. We bring the family of God before you. We thank you this morning for the victorious, triumphant, the overcoming family. We give you praise this morning 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you said in your word that where the people were one, nothing they imagined to do would be restrained from them. So, Father, I thank you this morning that the family unit is one, Father. And I thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that you will withhold no good thing from those who walk uprightly. And, Father, we give you praise this morning for every man of God on the broadcast this morning. They that are here present and they that may hear this broadcast later, we thank you this morning for these bold men, confident men, overcoming men, dominating men, healed men, Father. We thank you for these prosperous men. And we give you praise this morning that every assignment from the enemy, we thank you this morning that those assignments are canceled right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God is bold and he's confident. You call him a dominator, Father. You call him an overcomer. You call him more than a conqueror. And Father, we thank you this morning that he know who he is and we know whose he is, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, that no weapon physically, no weapon emotionally, no weapon verbally form against him shall prosper. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the man of God, according to your word, according to that scripture that we just read, that the man of God is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you that every assignment that the enemy has lost against his physical well-being, we come against it right now. And we give you praise this morning, Father, that he's healed from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. We thank you this morning, Father, that no sickness nor disease will long over his body. We come against all forms of sickness and all forms of disease. We thank you this morning, Father, hallelujah, that he's healed from all forms of cancer. We come against it right now. And we thank you this morning for the balm of Gilead, Father. We thank you that Jesus, our elder brother, he bore our griefs, hallelujah. We thank you this morning, Father, by those 39 stripes on his back that we are already healed. So we come against it right now. We thank you that pancreatic cancer is healed. We thank you that the cancer of the liver is healed. We thank you that prostate cancer is healed. Colon cancer is healed. Brain cancer is healed. We thank you this morning that cancer of the lungs is healed. We thank you this morning that liver disease and kidney disease. We thank you that A1C numbers are normal. We thank you that creat numbers are normal. We give you praise this morning. We come against any disease that affects the man's physical well-being. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That not only is the man of God healed, but we thank you that the man of God walks in divine health all the days of his life. We thank you this morning, Father, that he's healed from schizophrenia. He's healed in the name of Jesus from glaucoma. He's healed this morning, Father, from Parkinson's disease. <clears throat> We give you all the glory this morning, Father, that the man of God walks in divine health. We thank you this morning that you do not give him a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you that he's not stressed and filled with oppression or with depression. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mind of the increase and the man of God has joy, a speak of joy, and his cup running over. We thank you that he has peace that surpasses all understanding. As he keep his mind staying on you, you said in your word that you would keep him in perfect peace. We thank you this morning, Father, that he's strong in faith, always giving you the glory in every assignment that the enemy has lost against the man of God's faith. We come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, Father, that he walked by faith and not by sight. Never moved by what he's seen, only by your perfect will. We thank that he called those things that be not as though they were. We thank you this morning, Father, that he pleases you with his faith. We give you praise for it. We thank you this morning, Father, that he would not waver in faith. We give you praise this morning that he would stand on your word, Father, that his house is built on the rock. And when the storms of life come, Father, he will still be standing. We thank you this morning, Father, that the man of God leans on you in every situation. Situation, that he relies on you, Father, that he trusts you, Father. We thank you that he's not led of the flesh, but the man of God is led of the Holy Ghost, and we give you glory for it. 
We thank you this morning that every assignment that the enemy has launched against the man of God's finances, we come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning that the man of God is abundantly supplied, that increases his portion, abundance is his portion, surplus is his portion, good measures his portion, press down and shake it together and run it over his portion. We thank you this morning for supernatural debt cancellation, supernatural release in the area of finances. We thank you that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and it finds its way to the man of God. We give you praise this morning that everywhere his feet tread, you give it to him. Everything his hands touch it will prosper. We thank you this morning, Father, that you said in your word that by way of the Holy Ghost, you would teach him to profit. So, Father, we give you praise for it and we give you glory for it and we thank you for it, Father, that the man of God is rich, Father, rich in spirit, Father, and in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, he's blessed to be a blessing. We thank you this morning that he's a distributor of good. He has more than enough, Father. We give you praise this morning that the man of God is blessed to be a blessing. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That he's a planter in the kingdom of God. And we thank you this morning that the harvest of your word, Father, will manifest in his life in the area of finances. Somebody shout hallelujah. We thank you this morning, Father, for the man of God and his family. We give you praise this morning, Father. Hallelujah that he and his wife dwell together in unity, that their prayers may not be hindered. We give you praise this morning that his children honor and respect him. And we thank you this morning, Father, that there's unity in the family. We thank you this morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the man of God fears you. He reverence you, Father. We thank you this morning, Father. He's a warrior in the kingdom of God, doing business on behalf of his family. We thank you that the man of God is girded up, Father. He has his full armor on, ready to go to battle on behalf of his children, ready to go to battle on behalf of his family. And we thank you this morning that he's girded up this morning and we give you praise for it. We thank you this morning that the man of God will not be weary in well-doing. We thank you that he reaps in this season if he faints not. We thank you this morning that the man of God faith fails not in the name of Jesus. And when he get weak, Father, we give you praise that angels come to strengthen him in the mighty name of Jesus. My God in heaven, we speak the blessing over the man of God. We speak increase over the man of God. We speak abundance over the man of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning, this morning, this morning, we thank you. We give you praise this morning for the entrepreneur man. We thank you this morning that you bless this business endeavor. We thank you. <coughs> We thank you this morning, Father, that his business will not fail. We thank you this morning, Father, what the devil meant for evil. You're going to turn it around for his good. <clears throat> and we give you praise this morning that his business will flourish. We think that failure is not an option. We thank you this morning that doors of opportunity, Father, will open for him. We thank you this morning, Father, that you will show him favor in his city and show him favor in his community. We thank you this morning, Father, that his community will rally around his business, Father. And we thank you that he was not survived, but the man of God business will die. In the name of Jesus, and we give you praise, Lord. We thank you this morning for Ed Washington, and we thank you for Brother Jeff Loveless. We thank you for Kevin Bush and Kevin Vista. We thank you for Jerry Armstrong, Jerry Brewer. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, for Al Mason, James Jacobs. We thank you this morning, Father, for Maurice Jones, Mike Banks, Dr. Alexander, Horace Gidry. We give you praise for standing here. We thank you. Al Mason this morning. We give you praise this morning for Amy Wright this morning, Joshua T. Scott. We give you praise this morning for every businessman, Cedric Stallin. We give you glory this morning. We thank you this morning for Sean Sartober, Christian Thigbeard. We give you praise this morning that these men of God in the name of Jesus will increase in every area of life. We give you praise this morning and nothing is missing and nothing is broken from the area of finances. We thank you for Brother Lewis Scott this morning that he walked in divine health, Juan Pavilon. We give you praise this morning. We thank you for Jamil Kelly this morning. We give you praise that you would give him wisdom, Father, and he lead us into this new era of ministry. We thank you that everyone is contractors and everyone of his workers, Father. We thank you that you protect them, Father, 
together as they build the kingdom of God, as they build a place, as they prepare a place for us to come to worship you, Father. We thank you this morning that Jamil walks in the favor of the Lord. We give you praise this morning in the name of Jesus that everything he needs, Father, to get this project finished, it's already done. We thank you this morning, Father, that the project is debt free, that he finds favor with the city of Round Rock. We thank you this morning that he finds favor in the name of Jesus with builder suppliers. We give you praise this morning, Father. Hallelujah for a special grace on that man of God. And because of his commitment to build your kingdom, to build a place for you to worship, Father, for us to worship you. We thank you that you favor his business. We thank you that you increase his business. We thank you that you supply every need that he have for his business. We thank you for him and Tanya, Father, as they take on this kingdom project. We give you praise that you give them wisdom and that you give them insight. And we lift them up this morning, Father. We thank you for the enthusiasm and the excitement, Father, in the name of Jesus that he has about this project. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Nothing will slow it down, Father. We give you praise this morning. By June, Father, we will be worshiping our new facility, state-of-the-art facility. We give you praise this morning, Father. There are no setbacks from the enemy. And we shout hallelujah. The budget is already met. We give you praise in advance for it. We thank you that Jamil is helping with this debt-free project. Project. And so, Father, we speak a special grace over Jamil, over every worker, every volunteer. We slip them up this morning, Father. We thank you for every contract, every contract that's negotiated. We give you praise that is in the favor of the Love Center Bible Fellowship Church, Round Rock, Texas. We speak it into existence and we give you praise for it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. For the woman of God this morning, we bring before you these women of valor, these women women of promise, these women of praise, these virtuous women, these 31 women. We thank you this morning, Father, for the daughters of Zion. And Father, we give you praise for our sisters this morning. We lift them up this morning and we thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that they're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming out and blessed going in. We thank you this morning, Father, that you call them more than conquerors. We give you praise this morning that they're dominators. We thank you that they're high Highly favored by you and by man. We give you praise this morning, Father, that the woman of God in the name of Jesus, she is a woman of wisdom, a woman of knowledge. She's a woman of understanding. We give you praise this morning. She's a superwoman. We thank you this morning because of the anointing, Father, that's all her natural. You enable her to do supernatural things. We thank you that you do not give her a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you this morning that the woman of God exercise her spiritual authority, doing business on behalf of the kingdom. We thank you this morning that she's advancing in every area, forgetting those things which are behind her and reaching for those things which are in front of her. We thank you this morning that you're shifting the atmosphere on behalf of the women of God. We thank you that the first should be last and the last should be first. We thank you this morning that you enlarge our territory, that you stretch your Father. We give you praise this morning. Hallelujah. That she's moving forward. And so, Father, every assignment that the enemy has launched against the women of God, we declare those assignments canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. Every assignment that the enemy has launched against her faith. We declare those assignments cancer, that she's strong in faith, always giving you glory, that she's walking by faith and not by sight, that her faith is pleasing you. We thank you that she called things that be not as though they were. She's standing on your word, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, that she understands the invisible realm and the natural realm. And we give you praise this morning, that she knows her authority and she knows how to, Father, use her faith to change her life circumstances. We thank you this morning that she said witness unto your word, Father, that she worshiped you, Father. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that she's a kingdom worker, a kingdom advancer. We thank you this morning, Father, hallelujah, that she's cast all her cares on you, that she lives a stress-free life in the mighty name of Jesus. In anxiety, 
grant you free life and we give you praise for it. We declare, Father, that every assignment that the enemy has lost against our physical body, we come against it this morning. We thank you this morning, Father, that the woman of God is strong in her body and we give you praise this morning that according to your word, no sickness, no disease could lord over her body. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms 1, that she like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in her season. Her leaves should never wither. And whatsoever that woman of God do, it will prosper. We give you praise this morning. According to the book of Acts, Father, oh my God, that you anointed her in the name of Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And she go about doing good, healing all that was oppressed and sick because the Lord was with her. And we thank you for it. We thank you, Father, as you were with Job. You are with her. That you give a double for her trouble. And we thank you this morning, Father, that she's restored, that she's rejuvenated, that she's refreshing. We thank you this morning, Father, that she's remarkable. Your praise this morning in the name of Jesus that anything the enemy attempts to do to stop our progress, we thank you this morning that it is under the blood this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you that she's healed in her body, healed from all forms of cancer, healed from pancreatic cancer, cancer of the female organs, healed in the name of Jesus from breast cancer, healed from cancer of the liver, healed from blood disorders. We thank you this morning that she's healed, Father, healed mentally, healed physically. Healed emotionally. We thank you this morning in the name of Jesus that she has joy, unspeakable joy, that she walks in the fruits of the Spirit. We thank you this morning, Father, that she's not oppressed or is she depressed. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, that she's not filled with anxiety and filled with worry, that she cast all her cares on you, for you care for her. Thank you this morning, Father, that she's a woman of joy, that she's a woman of peace, that a light shine before men, that they may see her good works and give you all the glory. We thank you this morning, Father, for this virtuous woman, Proverbs 31 woman. We thank you this morning that every assignment that the enemy has lost against her finances, we come against it right now. Blesses her, blesses who she is, increases her in the name of Jesus. Position, we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus, that abundance is your will for her, and she would not settle for less. We give your praise this morning. Hallelujah. That she has more than enough. That she's out of debt and every one of her needs are met. And the woman of God has plenty more to put in store. Thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That you said in your word that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous and it finds its way to the righteous, Father. We thank you that this woman of God is a righteous woman. And everywhere her feet tread, you give it to her. Everything her head is touched and prosper. We thank you this morning that she's a distributor of good, that she's a planter in the kingdom. We give you praise this morning that you could trust her with the resources. We thank you that your word says when she's faithful over the least of things, you'll make a rule over much. So Father, we lift her up this morning. We call her wealthy. We call her rich. We thank you this morning that she's abundantly supplied. We thank you that money is flowing in her direction. We thank you that she'll never be broken, not the day in her life. We give you praise this morning, Father, that she's innovative, that she She's creative. We thank you this morning, Father, that she's dominating in the business world. And we shout hallelujah. Thank you that you're promoting her as we speak. That the Bible said that the first should be last and the last should be first. We thank you this morning that you're favoring her in the mighty name of Jesus. That someone has her on their mind. And we give you praise for unexpected favor, unexpected income. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. That has a shifted on behalf of the woman of God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning for the entrepreneur woman. We give you praise that you bless her. We thank you for Mom George James. We thank you for Yolanda Curtis. We thank you for Sherry July. We thank you for Rashad. Shonda, in the name of Jesus, Quran. We thank you for Brenda Pavilon, Beverly Jones, Patina Ganther, Loma Scott, Tammy Williams. We thank you for Kelly Hitt, Kelly Hicks. We thank you for Penny. We thank you for Felicia Gidry, for Karen Loveless. We thank you this morning, Father, for the name of Jesus, 
for Tanya Robinson, Frieda Renee. We thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah, that's a blessing. We thank you for Don Brewer this morning. We give you praise for Angie Wells this morning. We thank you this morning, Father, every businesswoman. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, that's a blessing. We thank you for Crystal Thick Ben. We speak the blessing over these entrepreneurial women. We thank you this morning that their business endeavors will not fail, that increase in abundance is your will for them. We thank you this morning, Father, that they lean on you and they depend on you, Father. We thank you this morning that they find favor in the marketplace. We thank you for Vicky this morning. We thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that whatever the enemy is trying to do to hold her cases up, we thank you that those cases are released right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise this morning that she received full asking for every one of her cases, Father. We thank you that she found favor with judges and favor with jurors and favor with mediators. We give you praise this morning. That Bible is very clear that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turned it in whatsoever way he choose. So woman, I declare, woman of God, that the thing that you're believing for is turning in your favor. I give you praise this morning, Father, that you're turning their situation around, that you're speaking to someone. Every door that was shut, we declare those doors are open right now in the name of Jesus. As Paul and Silas gave you praise, Father, we thank you that the women of God give you praise and you open up doors for them, doors of favor, doors of increase, of book deals, contract negotiations. We thank you for cases settled. We thank you for promotion on their jobs and we give you praise for it and we shout hallelujah we shout hallelujah father because we believe that what you promise in your word that you're not a man that can lie nor are you the son of man that has repented so father we rejoice because we believe it's done we believe that it's finished we believe that it's ours and we thank you that we receive it in the mighty name of jesus come on women of god give god praise hallelujah come on crystal Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. We just give you praise this morning, God. We honor your name, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, God, and your kindness towards us, God. We thank you, God, that we can approach your throne, God, Father, and intercede, God, on behalf of, on behalf of others, God, and that you hear us when we pray, God. So, Father, this morning, God, we come lifting up our children to you, Father. We thank you, God, that you said in your word that children are a gift and a reward from you, O oh God. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that our children are blessed, God. Blessed coming in and blessed going out, God. We thank you, God, that as they go to school today, God, they are blessed, God. They are favored, God. Father, that your hand, God, is on their lives, O oh God. We thank you, God, in their studies that they have the mind of Christ, God. Father, we thank you, God, you said in your word, God, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. And so, God, we thank you that today, God, that our children, God, are thinking your thoughts, God. They have your wisdom, God. Father, every assignment, God, they're able to excel at it in Jesus' name because they have your mind. And so we just give you praise and we give you glory for that, God. We thank you, God, that our children, God, Cast down vain imagination, God. Yes, Lord. Any thought that would try to exalt itself against your knowledge, God. We thank you, God, that our children recognize, God, those thoughts. And they take them captive in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that they're not uh, listening to the, the enemy, God. But they only hear the voice of the good shepherd, oh God. So, but God, we come against, God, any types of confusion, God, of their identity, God. We thank you in Jesus' name. They know who they are in you, God. Yes. And they know who they are, God, because of your word, God, and because of your name, God. So we just give you praise and we give you glory, God. We come against, God, any types of perversion, God, and promiscuity, God, and addictions, oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus, God, that our children are not bound to anything, God. Yes. We thank you that they're free in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, for those that may have ended up, God, in some kind of uh, addiction, addictive behavior, God, we thank you, God, because of the anointing, God. Those yokes are being destroyed right yes, now Lord. in Jesus' name. We thank you for deliverance and for freedom in Jesus' mighty name. God, we thank you for healing, God, where healing is needed for our children. 
Thank you, Father, that our children, are, our children are healed, God, from any types of developmental displays, God. Yes, Lord. Dyslexia or autism, God. We thank you in the name of Jesus, God, that those diseases, God, did not come from you and they aren't your will, God. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus, God, that our children are free from that, oh God. Thank you, God, our children are free from cancer, God. Father, from uh, any type of disease, God, that would try to attach itself to them, God. We thank you, God, that they walk in divine health in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father, that they overcome, God. We thank you, God, that your healing power touches, God, every area in Jesus' mighty name. And so, God, we give you praise and glory for that, God. And now, God, we lift up the, the harvest, God. We thank you, God, for those, God, that may have strayed away from you, Father. Father, for our children, God, that are living lives, God, outside of your will, God. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We're not moved by what we see not right now, God. But God, we're moved by your word that says the seed of the righteous is delivered, God. So we thank you, God, that our seed is delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, and they're God. coming back to their rightful place in the kingdom of God. Coming back to serve you in Jesus' name. And so, God, we just give you praise that it's done, God. We continue, yes, God, to confess and believe, God, that we will see the manifestation, God, of so many coming to the kingdom of God in this year, God. We thank you for the harvest in Jesus' mighty name. God, we give you praise and we give you glory for it in Jesus' name. God, we thank you, God, for the kingdom, God, the gifts, God, that you a place in this next generation, God. We thank you, God, that you're stirring up the gifts, God. We thank you, Father, that the next generation, God, will go after the call of Christ, God, that they will be passionate, God, about doing your will, oh God. And we thank you, Father, because of that, God, the kingdom will continue to advance and take ground, oh God, in Jesus' name, Lord. take over, God. We thank you in Jesus' name, God, that the devil uh, will not have his way, God, with this next generation, God. Thank this you, Lord. This next generation will serve you in Jesus' name. And so we give you praise and glory and honor for God. And now, God, I come lifting up our singles to you, God. We thank you, God, for singles, God. We thank you, God, that the single state is a blessed state, God. We thank you, God, that the singles, God, are living their lives, God, to the fullest, oh God. Father, that they're um, enjoying their lives, God. Father, we thank you that they're maximizing their, their time, God. Thank you, God, that they're spending time with you, God. That they're fellowshipping with you and your word, oh God. Father, we thank you that they're hearing your voice, God. Father, that their steps are ordered by you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, for, for promoting them, God in life, God, in their businesses, God, in their uh, careers, oh God. We thank you that everything their hand touches prospers in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, God, for our single parents, God. We pray, God, a special blessing, God, a special yes, praise for them, oh God to do all their uh, call to do, oh God. We thank you, God, for increase, God, in their finances, God. Father, we thank you, God, that singles, God, will live off triple income, double income in Jesus' yes, mighty name. Lord. God, that there's nothing missing or broken from their lives, oh God. We thank you, God, that you bless them, God, financially like never before in Jesus' mighty name. And God, we lift up, God, those that do desire and make God. We thank you, God, for marriage, God. We thank you, Father, that it is your idea, God. Father, that the world can define it, God, but it's your idea, God. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus for being together, men and women, oh God. Father, for companionship, God, and to also do your work in the earth, God. We thank you, Father, that you equip them, oh God. Father, so they'll know, God, this is the person that you have for me, God. So thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that every hindrance, God, that's been trying to keep these couples from coming together, that those assignments are canceled, oh God. And Father, we'll begin to see people, God, be married like never before. God, we thank you for an abundance of weddings, God. We thank you, God, for hearts, hearts, desires manifesting in this time, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank you, God, for what you're going to do this week, God. We give you the glory, we give you the honor and the praise. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. We agree with every one of those prayers of petition, those prayers of thanks. Come on, Gwen, close us out this morning. Father, we praise you and we give you glory this morning. We thank you for another day. We thank you and praise you, Father. We lift up our seniors this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus over every senior, every senior that's on the 
podcast and all those that TLC. We thank and praise you for them, Father. Thank that we're walking in divine health. We're walking by faith and not by sight. We're on top of every situation, Father. We thank and praise that we're more than conquerors. We're overcomers. We're dominating every situation that pops up in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank and praise that we're trusting in you with all our heart and not thinking to our own understanding. Father, we give you glory and praise. You said in your word that you won't break your covenant and will not change what you said. And we thank you, Father, and pray that we're look not looking at what we see, but we're looking at what, what you said. We give you glory and pray, Father, that money is flowing in our direction. Thank you that we're blessed and we're being a blessing. Thank you that the blessing is upon our lives, Father. We thank you that they're adding add no sorrow to us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that we walk by blessing is coming upon us, overtaking us. Thank you that the favor of God is over our lives. We give you glory and praise, Father, that we walk in the fear of you. We give you thanks right now. We thank and praise that we let no corrupt community come out of our mouth. Thank you that our bodies are healthy from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We thank and praise you, Father, we come against any bones, broken bones. We come against falling in the name of Jesus. We come against Alzheimer's, cancer. We come against high blood yes, pressure, Lord. diabetes. We come against every every sickness and every disease in the name of Jesus, heart trouble in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that our minds are sound. Thank you that we don't have any envy, jealousy, or bitterness in us, Father. Thank you that we are lovers of you and, and, and lovers of people in Jesus' mighty name. We operate in the supernatural, Father. We give you glory and praise that we have an unction from the Holy Ghost and we know all things. We thank you, Father, and pray that we are righteous and we are bold as a line. We give you glory and praise of righteousness walking in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Give you glory and praise, Father. We're wise and we're winning souls. We bind every devil of harassment in the name of Jesus. We bind every hindering devil. We thank and pray that we take back those things that have been stolen from us. Everything that the devil stole, we call it back. We claim it in the name of Jesus. We claim it in Jesus' mighty name. We claim money that's not that's been stolen. Stop. We claim joy and love and peace, houses, land, cars, anything that was stolen from us, we call it back in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise right now. We break generation curses and we lose generation blessings. Thank you and praise your Father that your will is being done in our lives right now. We give you glory and praise, Father, that we're seeking first the kingdom of God and you adding everything to us. We thank you and praise you with the apple of your eye. We give you glory and praise right now. We're free, free from far, from forgetfulness in Jesus name we thank you that you've given us creative ideas we thank and pray that we have increased we have multiple streams of income in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you Father that we're doing the greater works because you're the greater one that's in us we give you glory and praise right now we thank you as it is in heaven so it is in our life yes, in Jesus Lord. name thank you that you're restoring the years Father we thank you that we're increasing in every area we're free from pain Thank and pray that the ankles are, are not swelling in Jesus' mighty name. We find fluid on the heart in Jesus' name. Thank you that our lungs are clear. We have good breathing in the name of Jesus. We find every symptom, every situation in Jesus' name. We have everything that pertains to our life to be godly. We think that you've given us all things richly to enjoy. We thank you, Father, and pray that you and we enjoy in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory and praise right now. We want to thank you that we heal. We thank you that we hold. We're lenders and not borrowers. Thank you that we're out of debt. Our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We thank you that we have surplus, Father. We give you glory and praise right now. Thank you that our nerves are calm. We give you glory and praise that yes, our latter Lord. days are better than our former days. We thank and praise you, Father. We're living by your word. We thank you that we're wise as serpent and harmless as doves. We yes, give Lord. you glory and praise. We're free from worry, stress, strain, and struggle. We give you glory and praise for life that you've given us life and we have it more abundantly in Jesus name. We thank you Father that we're losing excess weight thank you that we're eating properly, we're sleeping, sleeping properly. We have sweet sleep because you said you give your beloved sweet sleep and we want to thank you Father we want to pray for that burden removing yoke destroying power of God that's operating in us in Jesus mighty name we thank you Father and pray that we take over everything that's not like you we give you all glory and praise we bless and we exercise and Father we bless in your name this morning we thank you for brother Willie Scales. Thank you for Sister Deborah Driver. Thank you for Brother Amy Wright Jr. Thank you for Pastor and Sister Vicky in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father, for Sister Queen Whitaker. We give you glory and praise for Sister Ernest Wilson, Sister Bernadine Chapel, Minister Betty Damon. Thank you for Sister Thelma Williams. 
We thank you for Sister K. Scales. We thank you for me. Thank you and praise you for Sister Bernadette Franklin. Thank you for Brother Howard Franklin, Sister Linda Wilson, Sister Marion Steamer. Thank you for Sister Dorothy Stagall. We thank you for Sister Cheryl White, Sister Joyce Bracken. Thank you for Brother Kenny Sims. Thank you for Sister Frida Renee. We thank you for Rosalind Senegal Higgins. We thank you for Shirley and Johnny Wilkinson. We thank you for all the seniors in the name of Jesus. All the seniors are blessed. All the seniors are healthy. All the seniors got peace. We thank you, Father, and praise you. We lift up to you this morning. We bind every assignment that's the hell that's sent against us today. We thank you and praise you. We have joy, peace, and health in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory and praise right now. We thank you, Father, and praise for our TLC family. We plead the blood of Jesus over every member, every partner, every friend, every supporter in the name of Jesus. We thank and praise for souls being saved at TLC. We thank and praise that people are coming from the east, the west, the north, and the south. We yes. thank you, Father, we praise you. We thank that we produce the fruit that remains in Jesus' name. Thank that we're growing in grace and the knowledge of you, Father. We give you glory and praise right now. We're living in Natural. Everyone at TLC has a personal relationship with you, Father. We thank and praise you. We pray the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you in the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. That we may yes, know Lord. what is the hope of your calling, what is the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints. We thank and praise you, Father. We've been filled with the knowledge of will and walking worthy of you and in Jesus' name. Thank you that we are bound in and love toward one another. Thank you that we're in unity. We're one. We thank that we have the same mind and the same judgment. We speak the same thing. You said where the people are one, nothing can be restrained from us. And we thank and pray that we're one with the vision that Pastor that God has given Pastor and Sister Vicky in Jesus' name. We thank and praise the Father for those that are unchurched. We thank and pray that the Holy Ghost is leading them our way so they can be churched and they can be taught in the name of Jesus, taught by the Word of God and by the Holy Ghost. We pray for the peace of this world. We plead the blood of the president, vice president, governors, mayors, city council people. We thank and pray that they're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. They're being led by the Holy Ghost and making righteous decisions for us in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory and praise for pastors and the Vicky. We plead the blood of Jesus over them, over their family, Father. We thank and pray for the family member that's going through health challenges. We thank you that you are the healer. You said you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. We thank you, Father, and pray that the pastor and sister Vicky are walking in fine health. They're walking in divine protection. They're traveling ways. We thank you for financial increase. We thank you for wisdom to oversee TLC, Father. We thank and pray your Father, for pastor rest his body, have given wisdom in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and pray that people are returning to their first love. Thank you that we're continuing in the word. We we'll continue to speak the word boldly as he ought to speak, Father. We thank and pray you for him. We thank and pray you for a double portion of your anointing. Thank you and pray you for yes, new revelation, Father. We thank and pray you for insights and clarities in Jesus' name. Thank you that the gifts of the Spirit continue to operate through him in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory and praise speaking to your people to give we've got new sowers new new givers new partners in the name of jesus we thank you father and pray that the favor of god is upon all our partners and friends in jesus name thank you and pray you father build our budget is already met we give you glory and praise for that thank you for miracles are happening in tlc thank you and pray for testimonies where god has blessed us abundantly in jesus mighty name give you glory and praise for those that have had loved ones to transition. We lift them up to you this morning, Father. We lift up those families. We lift up the Williams family. We lift up the Dove family. We thank and praise you, Father, and any other family that has loved ones that transition. We pray the spirit of wisdom. We thank and praise you for the all the joy of morning. We thank you for the garment of heaviness. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, you are the comforter. We ask you to comfort them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and pray that all our family members have accepted Jesus. And if they haven't, though, they will in Jesus' mighty name. We thank that our faith will not fail. Thank that we're yes, believers Lord. and we're not doubters. We're doers of the word and not hearers only. We thank you, Father, and we praise you. We're putting all our trust in you. We said you can trust in you with all our heart and our leaves, our understanding. You've given us everything that we desire. You yes, said, ask, you shall be given. We've asked, you said, anyone that asks, believe in, you shall give it to us. And we thank you that we ask and we believe, and we just expect expecting what to you to do what you said. Thank you that we are esteeming one another better than ourselves. We're loving one another, concerned about one another. We thank and praise your Father. We give you glory and praise for TLC. We thank you that we're growing up. We're not no longer children tossed to and fro, Father. We thank you that we're 
having the meat of the word, not just the milk, but we're just taking the meat of the word, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank and praise. We find divorce. We plead the blood of Jesus over marriages. We put the blood over couples. We bind hell's assignment against them. We bind the spirit of division in marriages in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, thank Lord. and praise that husbands and wives are one. Thank that says takes over one shot out of my heart. Thank that they're so close, no air can come between them. In the name of Jesus. We thank you that every family member is healthy. We thank you for the vision of the home. We thank you that our homes are blessed. We thank you, Father, and praise that every financial need is met. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor for TLC. We thank you for Gloria, our board members, John and Morgan. Thank you for you. Thank you for their family right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for Doris and Dan Montgomery. We plead for them, their children, their grandchildren. Thank you that it's well with them. Thank you for keep awesome, their children, their grandchildren. We cover them with your blood today. We thank you for caring for this meal, Father, their children and their grandchildren. We feed the blood. Thank you that everything is well. Thank you for praise for me, my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren. We give you all glory. We give you praise, Father. We thank that you've already done what we ask of you. Believe it, receive it, and you are not only in the Father, we give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Put your hands together, guys, and give the Lord a hand of praise on this morning. Church, thank you for logging on today. We appreciate you doing so. We pray that everything that we thank God for that is already done and finished, we thank you. For those of you who would join us later today, thank you for joining us. If you do not see me on the broadcast, it's because we're dealing with a lot of family dynamics this week. And sometimes we just have to abruptly go and do some things that we probably wouldn't have scheduled to do. Y'all keep us lifted up in prayer. We thank God for every one of you. And remember, here at Love Center, we live love. We teach love. We all love getting ready to see our new commercial for the Round Rock Project. Once again, pray about becoming a partner with us as we get ready to bring the love to Round Rock, Texas. Good to see everybody. Carl Martin, Tanaya tell Carl, I love him. God bless you guys on this morning. We live love, we teach love, we all love. See you guys, God bless you.